Welcome, did you know that Makita offers about 20 different hedge trimmers? I will try to help you to find the best hedge trimmer for your purposes. First of all, maybe you already know Makita is a Japanese company and of course the Japanese are well known for their Japanese gardens. So if you want to know more about the Japanese art of hedge trimming, you can research Niwaki just as a tip. One picture I found on the Makita website uh, here, I want to caution you, never wear the blade of your hedge trimmers next to your neck. The same goes for your chainsaw, never put your chainsaw against your neck. So um, I don't know why Makita put a picture of this guy uh, with a blade on his neck on the website, but I just wanted to caution you, never do that. I know there are many safety features, nothing should happen, but don't tempt your luck. So Makita hedge trimmers, you have 20 different cordless hedge trimmers and I'm going to explain all of this. I will also explain the differences between the different voltage systems. And then there are nine electric hedge trimmers and three gas powered hedge trimmers. But I'm just talking about the cordless battery powered hedge trimmers here. First of all, I'm going to talk about what to consider when buying a hedge trimmer. Then I'm going to talk about the cheapest entry level 18 volts um, hedge trimmers from Akita. Then I'm talking about the comfort or ergonomic hedge trimmers with 18 volts. Then I'm going to show you the 40 volts XGT professional hedge trimmers. Then I'm going to talk briefly about the mini grass cutters and hedge cutters. After that, I'm talking about the telescopic hedge trimmer options and then also the multifunction power head options. There are multifunction power heads which allow you to use 10 different attachments. After that, I'm going to talk about the care, oil, grease and sharpening and also some battery tips. By the way, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Below in the video description you find affiliate links to Amazon shops uh, around the world. If you consider buying something online maybe you can use my links. You don't have any downside but I get a small commission from those online shops if you use my link to go to the shop and buy anything. You don't have to buy the exact product I'm linking to. It's just so Amazon sees that I was sending a customer. Let's talk about the Makita battery systems. So you have the CXT the compact extreme technology with 12 volts max. So 12 volts the max means actually you have just 10.8 volts but they call it max for better marketing and maybe in some cases you actually get some 12 volts but I'm not sure about this. And this system exists since 2016 actually before they had the stick battery system also with 10.8 volts. This battery system um, comprises about 70 tools as far as I could see. Then we have the lithium ion extreme technology with 18 volts and it actually has 18 volts but they also have a system with 14.4 volts which is also called LXT. This system exists since 2005 and they have according to a recent press release 420 different tools including hot water kettle, coffee maker, cooler and so on. And then there's the new system XGT next generation technology with 40 volts max, which means 36 volts in reality. Anyway, so um, this system exists since 2020 and it comprises about 100 tools as far as I could research and it even includes um, battery powered microwave, which is quite impressive, quite expensive of course, but yeah, if you want a battery powered microwave, there you go. But considering your hedge cutters, depending on what kind of Makita tools you already have and what kind of batteries you might already have or which other products you might want to buy, you can consider which kind of voltage or which kind of battery system you want to choose. So if you already have some 18 volts batteries or some 18 volts tools from Akita, then probably you want a hedge cutter or hedge trimmers with 18 volts. But if you know you want like high power tools, then you could choose the 40 volts. How do you choose the right hedge trimmer? If you have a small hedge or want to do some nice shapes, then maybe a cordless grass shear or mini hedge trimmer would be good. Actually this uh, Makita versions are available with both grass shears and mini hedge trimmer. In some offers you get two attachments so you can use both. Then of course if you have a huge hedge which is also very high 
Then, of course, the longer the blade of the hedge trimmer, the better or the faster you can finish cutting your hedge. And of course, if you want uh, to cut high hedges or um, low wide hedges, then it's much easier with a telescopic hedge trimmer because if it's very low, you don't have to bend down all the time. And if it's very high, you don't need ladders to get there. And by the way, there are some interesting battery backpacks from Makita. So if you want to wear your batteries on your back and not in the tool itself, then there are some options. The choice of your hedge trimmers also depends on the thickness of the branches of your hedge or how much you want to cut away. And this is often a little bit confusing between the different companies offering hedge trimmers because some say the maximum cutting capacity, then some just tell you the tooth spacing and some say cuts up to so and so much, which can be confusing because the tooth spacing is much larger than the maximum cutting capacity in many cases. But of course, it depends what kind of hedge you have. And of course, it depends how much you want to cut. If you only want to cut a little bit to bring your hedge into shape, then the hedge trimmers don't have to be very strong. But if you want to cut a little bit more, they need some more power to cut through all the branches. And if you want to cut even bigger branches, then you need a very powerful hedge trimmer to do the job. So let's start with the normal cordless hedge trimmers from Akita. Here you see, usually for safety purposes, you have to hold the hedge trimmers with both hands, otherwise it will not start. One thing I wanted to mention is that there are still some older version with brushed motors for hedge trimmers. I found this at amazon.com com at in the US Amazon store and they still sell in this version and it usually says that it's a brushed motor and of course nowadays most tools use brushless motors which are much more durable and energy efficient if you search different shops or maybe in your local hardware store maybe there are still some ver versions with brushed motors so let's talk about the entry level hedge trimmers from Akita with the 18 volt system. I want to tell you, I was thinking to check all the prices for the US at uh, amazon.com, but actually I already made this video in German and I checked all the prices in the German Amazon store. And since this video is relevant for the US, Canada, Australia and UK, I thought it does not really make sense to choose one English speaking country. And um, I think to just get an idea about the different price uh, prices, I just left the euro price here. Um, instead of centimeters, I added the inch numbers also. In some cases, I calculated the weight, but I think the weight is for most people is not the most relevant for choosing the hedge trimmers. What I also wanted to say here I have the cutting length and the maximum cutting capacity. So this is not the tooth spacing, but the Makita says this is the maximum cutting capacity. So the tooth spacing can be actually bigger than this number. But Makita says this version can cut up to 15 millimeters or 0.6 inches of branches. First of all, here we have this model with uh, 52 centimeters or 20.5 inches and um, it costs um, just 83 euros. I don't know if this is a special offer. I think it's brushless, although it does not say. But then here we have other versions, which is shorter and cannot cut much more and is almost twice as expensive. So who knows, maybe this is the newest version, but this one has definitely the brushless motor. And then we have another one. And um, here's the only difference that it can cut thicker branches. So up to 0.8 inches or 20 millimeters or two centimeters. And this one is almost 200 euros. So I don't know, in the US, it's probably $250 and in the UK it's what 170 pounds. I don't know. But just to get an idea, there are many differences and also depending on different offers, uh, it's very confusing with the pricing. Actually, I, I checked some prices in the US Amazon and um, bigger or more advanced hedge cutters can be uh, or hedge trimmers can be less expensive sometimes. So it makes sense to kind of check some prices for the different models. But in general here and the entry level models, they're very simple. The classic hedge trimmer design, uh, you don't have any um, extra functions here. Now, if we check the more advanced versions, here you have a, a five position rotating rear handle. So you can 
rotate this one in two directions and you can set it to the normal zero degree position 45 degrees and 90 degrees and usually those models also have three different speed options so if you just have some soft hedge and want to cut very fast then you can use the fastest option and if you have some thicker branches maybe i think you would uh, use some slower speed and go through the hedge a little bit slower so it kind of makes sense to use the different speeds and um, actually I checked several other producers and they don't have this functionality so I think Makita is quite advanced in this regard. I call those ergonomic comfort hedge trimmers because you can change the position you um, have the three speed options and vari variable speed trigger for increased operator control. I think even the simple varieties have this vari um, variable speed trigger I think and of course the five positions makes it much uh, more comfortable to cut hedges on the side for example so here we have four different versions the difference is in the length of the knife or the sword then also in the cutting capacity the interesting thing is that here and there is still one version i think makita is stopping the production of the two times 18 volts versions in favor of the new 40 volts max system but there are still some on the market with two times 18 volts so you get 36 volts and the 40 volt system as i said before is also 36 volts actually but you just have one battery the surprising thing is that here as far as i could check it has a, a much lower cutting capacity compared to the other 18 volt hedge trimmers in this um, category so it's a little bit surprising but uh, here basically you can choose if you want um, yeah, 50 centimeters or 19.7 inch um, cutting length or 60 centimeters, 23.6 inch or 75 centimeters, 29.5 inches. Of course, if you use the 75 centimeters, you're done much faster than if you use the 50 centimeters. With every cut, you cut 25 centimeters more than with the smaller ones. And also here, the maximum cutting capacity, the thickness of the branches is a little bit higher with these models, but of course you also have to pay more. And then here, 65 centimeters, 25.6 inches. But I don't know, according to the information I got, it was just uh, 0.7 inches maximum cutting capacity, which is kind of strange. But sometimes there can be mistakes in the information. Then we have the 40 volts professional hedge trimmers. Well, I call, I call it professional hedge trimmers. I mean, officially, I think Makita calls the 40 volt system for professionals. Of course, they also have the three speeds, the variable speed trigger and the five position rotating rear handle. Here you have also different length. So 60 centimeters, 23.6 inches. 75 centimeters, 29.5 inches. And then we have here the cutting capacity um, here 0.93 inches or 23.5 millimeters. And here we have um, 25 millimeters, 0.98 inches. And if you check the prices, at least in the German Amazon, um, basically it's better to choose this version, 75, uh, well, I mean, those versions I mean because here the 60 centimeter versions are the same price and the 75 centimeter actually when I checked the price was actually a little bit cheaper with the same length and higher cutting capacity for thicker branches compared to the other one and the price is a little bit lower or the same so of course if you're thinking about buying uh, those then it would make sense to buy this version instead of the one here but in the 40 volt system, there is also one hedge trimmer with a completely different handle with a 75 centimeter cutting edge length, but just 18 millimeters or 0.7 inch uh, maximum cutting capacity, which is a little bit strange. Um, I think on the US website, they had a higher number here, so I'm not quite sure, but it looks completely different. And um, here is a picture. So you can see the handle in the back is kind of an L shape. And uh, you also have the option between the three different speeds and one reverse in case you get stuck. And this has a, a single side blade. So you cannot use both sides. 
and um, yeah you can set the three different speeds but this one looks completely different than those other ones here this one looks more like an L and this one is also much more expensive as you can see the price is much higher for this version but maybe for professionals it's better and uh, also here the front grip is totally different so I just wanted to mention that maybe if you like this kind of hedge trimmer then um, yeah you look uh, you can look for this version um, I think in Europe and um, UK can check the product number in the US I'm not quite sure I think I saw it at amazon.com so you should be able to get it so let's check the mini hedge trimmers and grass shears there are some versions where here you have a hedge trimmer attachment and some hedge shear attachment but you can use um, or you can use the grass shears also for cutting hedges into shape I think so basically there are two or three versions so there's a 12 volt version 70 euros and the 18 volt version for 75 so the price is very similar the system is just a little bit different and uh, basically the grass shear width and the hedge trimmer attachment are basically the same as far as I know and I think or I expect um, that there will be a 40 volt version in the near future so depending on what kind of system you prefer you can get the right attachment and in the US I saw they sell um, the grass shears and the hedge trimmer separately but there are also offers where you get both versions and in Germany they mostly sell both versions so you can change the attachments and get both for the same price so here the prices are actually for um, the combination and uh, here are the length so um, for the hedge trimmer 7.8 inches 20 centimeters is not very much but if you want to transport your hedge trimmer for whatever reason and the hedge is not too big maybe this is a good option then there are telescopic hedge trimmers of course if you want to cut the hedge on top and you don't want to use a ladder then this might be a good option but also if you want to cut low hedges or wide hedges then it can make sense to use a telescopic hedge trimmer usually the problem with telescopic hedge trimmers are that the maximum cutting capacity is not as great as with normal hedge trimmers so here we have a hedge trimmer with 12 volts with 46 centimeter cutting edge 18.1 inches and the maximum cutting capacity is just 0.7 inches or 18 millimeters then there is an 18 volt version with same length and also the same cu cutting capacity but costs quite a bit more but the weight is a little bit lower uh, sorry I, I did not uh, translate the weight into pounds or something I thought it's not as important for the choice and I think this one has uh, two speeds and then there is a three speed option which are 18 volts there is one version with 50 centimeters 19.7 inches and one version with 60 centimeters 23.6 inches and the cut cutting capacity is 0.93 inches or 23.5 so actually I would recommend these ones if you want to get a telescopic hedged cutter because yeah the ca cutting capacity of 0.7 inches is I think not the best of course it depends on your hedge if your hedge is very uh, only has very soft wood I think it's better to have a little bit of buffer in the maximum cutting capacity so I would recommend those versions with a higher cutting capacity but maybe you don't want to just have a telescopic hedge cutter or hedge trimmer so you can use a multifunction power head from Makita Makita offers different multifunction power heads they have one with 18 volts so with just one battery inserted with two speeds you can see here then one with two 18 volts system so you put in two batteries in here but you can use your 18 volts LXG batteries and this one already has three speeds and one reverse and there is also a 40 volt multifunction power head and the good thing is I think you can use the attachments no matter which kind of voltage system you have here and here you have a picture of the end where you can insert the attachment so um, you have 10 different 
attachments, hedge trimmer, grass trimmer, brush cutter, chainsaw, ground trimmer, rotary scissor, leaf blower, shaft extension. Well, okay, that's not an uh, attachment, but I thought uh, I added here then an edger, roller brush and roller sweeper. So if you're interested in that, I don't want to show all of that here, but if you're interested, maybe the multifunction power head is interesting for you. So basically the 18 volt multifunction power head is about 156 euros with two speeds. The two times 18 volts, so you get 36 volts is about 216. And with hedge trimmer attachment, I saw an offer in Amazon Germany. It's about twice the price. Maybe it's surprising for some, but the attachment can be quite expensive too. And then the 40 volt max XGT version is actually cheaper than the two times 18 volts. And um, also with hedge trimmer attachment is also a little bit cheaper. So if you're not bound by the 18 volt system because you already have a lot of 18 volt batteries and tools, then maybe the 40 volt system is better for you, especially if you get much more of the different attachments then you have a very powerful multifunction power head and can use all these different attachments. But as I said, the attachments themselves um, might be quite expensive too. So actually you might want to look for a bundle offer with different attachments. Just to show you some hedge, hedge trimmer attachments. So there are different kinds of attachments. So this one here uh, is supposed to be new and um, well, this is a little bit longer. You can adjust the angle of the hedge trimmer. And here the simple one is relatively short, but the price is not that much different. So actually it makes sense to get this one. And I think in most offers uh, you get this one, but I just want to make you aware that there are different hedge trimmer attachments for this um, multi function power heads. Of course, there is an extension. So if you need more length for your hedge trimmer or whatever you use on this multifunction heads, you can also get an extension of about uh, three feet, 100 centimeters. As I mentioned before, Makita has some connector backpacks. And this is one, one version where you can insert single 18 volt batteries. And then you have some adapters so um, here you have an adapter for the two times 18 volt tools and one for the 18 volt uh, tools. So you have a ca uh, you have this backpack, you have this cable, uh, you put this cable end um, into this cable end and insert those battery adapters into your tool. And then there you go. And you have much more battery capacity to use your cordless tools for a long time. But Makita also has some other backpacks where the batteries are included, so you cannot take them out. But I just wanted to show this version because I think um, maybe for many people it's quite uh, useful because you can use the batteries in tools separately or if you have a big job, then you can use this backpack to put in the batteries. By the way, some hedge trimmers have this uh, chip receiver uh, or scoop or catcher. There are different names for this kind of attachments. And of course, if you buy a hedge trimmer without this, you can get this separately. Uh, which makes sense if you cut your hedge on top and don't want all the cuttings to fall into the hedge. Well, it may, uh, might make sense to get some um, cleaning and preser preservation oil, preferably biodegradable. In Germany, Makita sells this multi oil from Dolmar for um, garden tools. But um, I think in the US I did not see this, but you have like different brands or different oils for garden tools. And I think for hedge trimmers, you should use this almost like every working hour. And Makita also have, uh, offers some gear grease. In the user's manual, there is some information how and when to use the gear grease. But I think for many hedge trimmers, you don't need it immediately. So you can just get your hedge trimmers and then later on, maybe get your gear grease. And of course, for um, any knives, sooner or later, you have to sharpen them. Because if you have sharp edges, it makes the cutting much easier. Here, I just chose some thin diamond sharpeners. Because of course, um, if you don't want to disassemble your hedge trimmers, it's much easier to use some thin diamond sharpeners to sharpen the blades. But anyway, I just wanted to make you aware that maybe sooner or later, you have to sharpen your hedge trimmers. 
And of course, please do not disturb nesting birds, follow local laws. So in general, I would say in summer, just trim to maintain the shape and height. And in winter, you can cut as much as you want to not disturb nesting birds in the summer. As I mentioned before, below in the video description, I add some links to Amazon shops in different countries. If you use those links, you don't have any downside, but I get a small commission if you use my links to buy anything on Amazon or other shops. What do you think about Makita hedge trimmers? Did this video help you find the right hedge trimmer or not? Maybe you can leave some feedback in the comments below. And of course, a thumbs up is always helpful. And of course, you can subscribe my channel. I hope this video helped you to find the perfect hedge trimmer for your purposes. And I hope you enjoy cutting your hedges in the future.